you know we love Tim Vigil on this channel, so I'm going to take a look at some more Tim Vigil. Why not, right? This is basically, if you took Conan the Barbarian and added sex and violence to it, you would get this. I'm assuming. I've only read the first issue. But I kind of want to take a flip through and look at more of Tim Vigil's artwork because I am a huge Tim Vigil fan. And uh, I think he's one of the best. So, yeah, let's just kind of go through this. We have four issues here. And uh, let's just take a look issue by issue. Start with issue one. It's hard finding a place for my comics when I'm trying to set up, but here we go. Let's move this light, too, so there's not a stupid glare, because everybody's got to use a stupid, like, uh, whatever kind of paper that is for their covers. So anyways, yeah, that's a Tim Vigil comic. Is this inked by Tim Vigil? It was inked by Tim Tyler. And there's some uh, Joe Vigil in here as well. So, that's exciting. Uh, great horse anatomy. Uh, looks like a Bern Hogarth horse, but still looks great. Man. I'm a sucker for arm anatomy. So this is Tim Vigil at his uh, finest. As usual, I think this is what ninety six on this year. Uh, I mean, on this one, ninety ninety eight. We're getting ninety eight. Uh, this character was in um, Calber Presents, and I guess then he decided, hey, I'm gonna give him his own series. And it's your typical, I think, like revenge story. By the way, look at the amount. Of detail that's being put into these pages. We're just going to get a close up here. I mean, look at that ground and those lines. I mean, it's a lot of lines, a lot of craziness. Man. It just makes you wonder, like, what Tim Vigil would be like on a monthly book. But, man, the amount of detail he puts in his work is insane. So we have this like Doctor Doom looking character. This is a very cool character design with the mask. Man, look at that. What a cool fucking page there. In composition. Great anatomy too. That's the thing about Tim Vigil, his stuff is so solid. As you, as you know, we looked at uh, past issues of Faust, and his stuff is just so solid. It looks great. It feels great. It's just awesome. And great character design, really. And then we have this chicken here who also wants to get revenge. She has a sick eye patch. I will say one thing about this book is the pages open like shit. <laughs> a little too tight, if you ask me. Like, I don't know. It doesn't have that old feeling of a comic book, which I wish it did. Sort of like newsprinty, very loose. But yeah, but maybe that could be just wear and tear. Great. Fucking oh man, even the cape is cool. You know. Alright, I think we are at the end of issue one here. We are. Alright, let's take a look at issue two. Great covers, by the way. Really, really cool covers. Sorry, just trying to get some order here. Probably should have done this beforehand, but it is what it is. Yep. Uh, great, great cover here. Wow. Huh. All right. So are our two characters fucking already? Yeah, he's getting a he's getting a BJ. I was like, they're gonna fuck at some point, and uh, it didn't even take one issue before they started fucking each other. It's 
So this is Joe Vigil doing the pencils. Okay, so so now it's Joe Vigil, I'm assuming. By the way, look at the amount of fucking... That's a, a, like, wow. Just the, the detail, the leaves, I mean, the... Just the, like, the rocks and stuff on the... You know, on the buildings. Man. I mean, even stuff like that. I mean, just the amount of craziness that goes into this. The crazy detail. You know, when I sit down and I draw, I go, oh, man. Like, and I look at stuff like this and I go, man, I am lazy compared to these guys. But that's probably why their comics take 15 years to make. Great anatomy. I love that idea of, like, that checkerboard. Yeah, look at that. Like, imagine having to draw that much detail on leaves and shit, you know? The amount of dedication that goes into that. Insane. I love it that, like, Joe Vigil and Tim Vigil both did this. Because you can see their art styles, how they differ from one another. So our guy, I'm guessing that's what his face looks like without the mask. Very interesting. Eventually I'm going to have to get this Faust, this other Faust series. It's cool that there's some, like, panels there. All right, let's move on to issue three. Another great cover. I'm a sucker for arm anatomy, what can I say? All right, so this is also Tim Vigil and Joe Vigil. I'm guessing I'm guessing Joe Vigil just took over. And, of course, Tim Tyler on inks again. So you can see some Tim Tyler ink. Maybe maybe Tim Vigil did the last issue. I mean, he plotted it out, but I'm assuming that Joe Vigil is doing the... I mean, I can tell the difference. They, they draw very different, but they also draw similar in a lot of ways, too. Great facial expressions. I will say some of his females are... Eh, they're good, but uh, I, I think Tim Vigil has more of a... Uh, I don't know. I feel like he has a better grasp on female anatomy and female faces. But I still dig it. I still think it's extremely... Just the amount of detail and hard work that went into this. I think I like the way Joe Vigil draws men better in some cases. That's such an awesome drawing. I love that too. Great fucking anatomy there. I mean, you can see every muscle there. That's a great composition too. And like the movement. Yeah, look at that. Just that. Uh, like you can you can definitely feel him like swinging it i love the arm anatomy too it's like so off like the foreshortening is so off but it works and it definitely represents what it's supposed to be for sure it's so, like twisting stuff like that i don't even know if there's a twist there but maybe if he had hmm i don't know i'm not going to critique because I, I feel like there should be more of a twist there though I'm not sure. Man, look at that. Look at those muscles in the back and, like, that scapula. Great stuff. Is that the latissimus dorsi? Throwing out some anatomy terms here. Yeah. I love that. 
just like lifting it up and stabbing. Great composition, great uh, sequential drawing. I mean, that's the thing is like people look at comics and they go, oh, I can do that, you know. I can draw, so I could do that. No, no, no. You need to have storytelling as well. I'm actually surprised there isn't more sex in this comic book. Because that seems like a visual thing. Alright, and we are on issue four. Just looking at some great artwork here. Alright, so we are... Still on Joe Vigil here, so uh, Joe Vigil must have done the entire series. So I'm assuming we're having our final showdown with this guy here. Again, the amount of detail. Like, that's just insanity. It's kind of like when you look at uh, Robert Crumb's brother, and he just, like, went insane with... Uh, like cross hatching and stuff, and it's, and it's just the amount of detail that Joe Vigil puts into here. Yeah, there's something about like seeing the figure kind of like in that movement in that way, and the legs coming out. It's just it's such a nice look for action. I just, just looking at the figure in motion is insane, especially when somebody can do it so well. There, I mean, that's a great drawing of a woman, so I guess he can draw women very, very well. I guess he's just trying to be like, this is a heroic, more heroic character, which makes sense. Great dragons, too, by the way. That anatomy is so good on that arm. Like, you see that form for that muscle that's in the middle of the uh, bicep and tricep. I forget the name of it. But it has so much weight and so much form to it. And there we go. That is uh, what we have. Very interesting end to the series. But, uh, yeah, very, very cool series, kind of looking at Joe Vigil. I actually thought it was mostly Tim Vigil, but uh, it's a nice surprise. Eventually, I'm actually going to read it and uh, kind of hopefully get something out of it. I know I enjoyed the first issue a lot. I thought that first issue was very interesting. I also love these drawings on the front. I don't, I love these covers. I don't know who's doing the covers. Okay, so it's Tim Vigil, Joe Vigil, Tim Tyler, and Barry Gregory. So I'm assuming, I don't know what Joe Vigil has to do with it. Maybe it's just like they're mixing it up. I'm not quite certain. Um, but uh, that looks more like Joe Vigil than it looks like Tim Vigil, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, such an interesting uh, series. Um, yeah, I mean, but it, it feels, it also feels like a safe series. There's, there isn't, there isn't much... Uh, craziness going on it on with it like faust like faust was insane um i'm actually going to cover eo uh, at some point uh this week but yeah it's a very interesting uh series we'll take a look at these covers again um they they are very interesting uh i don't have enough room here but uh yeah i'm gonna swap this out sure but uh very cool covers, very interesting look and feel to the book. Not a big fan of how uh, Avatar printed their books. They kind of feel like um, sort of if you get your books like from those like printers now, the ones that print it for you. Uh, I forget the name of them, but like the ones that like you can print your own comic on. It doesn't have that feel that kind of like the Image Comics or Marvel Comics or DC Comics have where it like is flat. I don't know. I, I can't explain it, but if you've ever read a comic, a mainstream comic, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, very cool series, very interesting, very safe in a lot of ways, but I enjoy it. I think it's very cool. I'm going to actually read it um, 
because sometimes I have a tough time reading uh, uh, visual comics because they are usually not amazingly written, but uh, I actually enjoyed the first issue, so we'll, I'll move on to the second, third, and fourth and have an opinion, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so this is, uh, I guess, if uh, Tim Vigil and Joe Vigil did a book together and it was uh, Conan the Barbarian. 